Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So let's do um, Leo's. Let's see the messages for 15th to 31st. Let's see what messages do we have for your sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Mm. This is going to be a general reading, so take whatever resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personal accurate readings, you can always book personal reading from me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. Details are given below. You can also get any white prayer based spell done from me. Other remedies cheaper are also available. So for that also you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. Do follow me on Instagram for daily, monthly and yearly horoscopes which really resonate with many people and other updates are also available on my Instagram. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on your sign. Right now we are on Leo's. Let's see. See the messages here. Hmm. The bottom of the deck that says the um, Six of Wands. So right now Leo's you are in a power to manifest anything that you want. Literally anything. Okay, stop. You're coming off as uh, most wanted, most uh, desirable, okay, in your um, locality or wherever. You might be in social media, being an influencer, you know, stuff like that. So I feel like you're coming out as a star, like different. And uh, your major wishes are coming true, manifestation on the road. I feel most of you are kind of manifesting a dream job or manifesting a dream person it is coming for you okay you have infinite ability right now in this month to manifest anything that you want so be careful while you manifest anything and also see a lot of indigo and purple over here the violet over here and plus the yellow which tells me that you're full of confidence and you believe in yourself Okay, you believe in your psychic intelligence, your intuitive intelligence that this is what I want, this I can achieve. Mostly, I feel like you have major wishes regarding your career and some of you may have in love life. You are blocking something completely and not allowing that to hinder your mental peace because you're moving forward with other opportunities, maybe love, maybe career, but I feel like you're blocking one door to open another okay and yes you're letting go of some situation that was really holding you back making you feel toxic and not good enough about yourself and i've started uh, seeing you in a more powerful energy right now leos i feel you have opened the door to newer possibilities in love in career I also see you traveling as well and going with the flow not expecting too much not depending too much on others the strength is telling me you're full of emotional control right now and your aura is so confident that it is it can scare anybody okay and nobody can take advantage of you because you're full of confidence right now and i see there's a lot of power in your energy white may be your favorite color and i see summers is going to be really helpful for you in terms of feeling more powerful strong and passionate about your goals and uh, your eyes are very powerful like i feel seductive like that some of you are in a very peaceful energy right now okay exuding a lot of peace and emotions there is a sudden breakthrough in your life i feel like something that had to leave like the sudden crush had to happen so that you can just come out with flying colors like a phoenix you, you know rising from the ashes of scorpio energy so possible scorpio that you were dealing with i feel like this has to be this uh, toxic moment that had to happen like an ending had to happen so that you can cleanse yourself for new new things to bring new things in your life so the storm is gone now. I see new people coming in. Okay. I see a new option coming in. All right. And uh, it might be like not just immediately, but slowly and steadily you will um, become more committed to someone. Ten of Pentacles is like with someone you might have a strong, solid communication connection with. I see like you guys will be a um, partnership uh, will be in a partnership with each other do some sort of a collaboration i see growth of money i see slow and steady growth of money initially it's gonna be like you taking care of so many things at once but you get hold of it and you 
um, see a gradual growth. So I see like the money is going to grow gradually. Okay. And it's going to reach the point of 10 of pentacles. I feel like it's more about your goals. Whatever you're doing, you're going to become a millionaire. I feel it is going to be gradual. Don't expect spontaneous growth. Right. So I can also see a commitment coming in, but I see you having a lot of options. So after a lot of uh, miss and match and trials, you know, uh, tricks and trials, you will finally find someone with whom you match your aura match your energy match. And this is how your marriage takes place. A commitment takes place. So I do see options coming in and you're able to see through any kind of lies and there's no one that can take you easy. You know, that's the energy that you're giving. So I see a lot of options coming in. There is a possibility of a new love affair. But I see there, there are some people that you cannot trust. But eventually you're going to get lucky and find someone exactly your type. Ten of Wheels um, is telling me that your life is moving faster than you think. You know, it's just changing. You see, you see this Ten of Cups. So I see a commitment happening. I see marriage happening. If you guys have not yet married, then I see that happening. I see a true, uh, you know, initially it's going to be like you having multiple options, but you actually pointing down to one with whom you actually relate with very strongly. So I see your luck changing with this and you becoming more and more happy. Emotional fulfillment coming in, a lot of money coming in. Luck is in your favor. But I do see like there are so many people fighting for your attention because you're exuding a lot of um, confidence. You're looking quite attractive and I feel there's so many suitors who want your attention like this challenge over here. King of Swords, someone is keeping a close eye on you. I feel like this person's been spying on you 24-7. There's this one person who has literal interest in you and has been spying. And I feel like they're, you're not talking to this person or you don't know who this person is. You're right now in the energy of letting go of the past and blocking the past energy. And you don't see love anywhere right now. But I see that there is someone who secretly is keeping a close watch on you and is wondering like how it could be being, it, being with you. So right now you're like under some sort of an observation, like a supervision. Okay, you're going through a little bit of stressful moments right now, but I feel like there's more to life. So you're coming out of it soon. You're going to come out of it. Okay, you're always on this person's mind. I feel this is the one that is taking stress over you because you're actually in a carefree energy right now okay not bothered about others all you're bothered about is your own happiness and you're also exploring your potential to build something out of your skills okay you're also doing great about your life your you, you know taking care of your health dancing may be a stress buster for you or singing or something on those lines entertainment really helps you some of you are into social media star doing something artistic that is going to outgrow other people in your work. If I was well, someone feels left out in the cold by you or they feel like you're not focusing on them because you have a lot of other things going on. But they're also scared of losing you because they know that you have suitors. So you're in this energy of Queen of Wands like full of fire, passion, ambition and whatnot. Yes, in the end, you're going to be super famous. I see you standing out in the crowd. You're being in the limelight, spotlight. People are focusing on you, getting prosperous, abundance. A lot of those things are coming for you. Let's see some love messages. Some of you, this is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> Another Leo. Um, Sagittarius. Any fire sign or any Libra. Possible. calling in your soulmate so I do see it's time that you will meet your soulmate and yeah I do see you're letting go of the past you're not focusing on them or you're not running after someone in the past and you're moving forward there's new connections building up and I do see the unrequited love situation is what you've accepted now and you're moving towards the true love like a soulmate okay so you're feeling more attractive and I see you're going to attract a lot of suitors in the month of March. Wink. <laughs> see what other messages do we have for you. Alright. 
listen to your intuition it is already guiding you just telling you that something great is gonna happen you're getting recovered i feel like your health is taking a major uh, shift like you're feeling more powerful and you might be taking up some activity like maybe going to gym and making you feel much more attractive that ways you're focusing on your life purpose i feel like you have a clear mindset right now about what do you want to do in your life and maybe it relates to you know attracting people like helping others maybe some of you doctors healers or instagram influencers stop something on those lines like because i see fashion and creativity as well observer <clears throat> <clears throat> right now your observation skills are at par you know exactly what you want to do and who you want to entertain also see that someone is actually keeping a close eye someone new is like observing you maybe this is someone from your workplace This is a time where you're going to fully heal yourself, your health, your body, your... Mm, I was just about to say how weeds. <laughs> I know, maybe that would resonate with a select few. Time for healing. Let's see, Leos, what other messages do we have? Yeah, now your health is recovering. You have been doing not so good health-wise, but now you're going to be fine. Journey. Some of you, there's a new journey. There's a new beginning happening. Some of you might travel to a new place or someone might travel towards you. But I see a new beginning happening that involves traveling. Maybe you're going to meet someone who needs you right now. Joy and stability is coming to you. 444 could be your number. And even 111. Listen and observation. I feel like there's someone who wants to say a lot of things to you that is observing you, that is watching you. And also says that instead of talking too much, you should just observe and listen to what the other person wants to say. That is major message. Any other message do we have? thinking man yes i told you there's someone who's actually keeping a very very close watch on you and wants to come towards you and they see a possible commitment marriage over here because it's you as a, in a very happy and good going energy full of life and you know happy energy i sense could be a libra gemini aquarius strongly they could be into law but they have a very clear mindset when they want something they go for it this could be someone in their 40s need not be or you could be into 30s or 40s, I see. Let us see from Aries to Pisces. Your person, how does your person feel about you, Leos? Okay. Aries first. Aries is bringing in a strong, powerful communication because they're highly attracted to you and keeping a close watch. The Taurus is ready to take in action, bring a love offer. Gemini is already thinking about settling down, commitment, marriage, partnership, long term. Cancer is missing you in this you as a soulmate. They want to marry you. And then we have uh, Leo. Leo is thinking about um, marriage, like a traditional way of commitment, you know. Um, the Virgo person has been thinking a lot about you, is thinking about what action they should take in this. The Libra person wants to come towards you with um, an offer. I feel this person wants to offer you a job or wants to get a job or something that's related to financial uh, talk, but they have interest. Scorpio is not feeling good enough for you. So they're leaving the situation or they feel that you have your back on them. So there's no chance here. Sagittarius is thinking about commitment long term. They want to be there for you as a helping hand. Capricorn is um, kind of stuck, I feel, on you and is not really 
uh, ready to take action but not moving on okay Aquarius feeling insecure maybe they have um, a lot of struggle in their life so they are not able to focus on you completely Pisces feels heartbroken and I feel they think that this separation has occurred and you found someone else over them so that's about it Leos I hope this reading resonated do not forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell comment down below let me know how this resonated and I'll see you with more videos on this bye